Hello, everyone. Welcome to Children's Adoration. I'm very excited that you are here today. As you can see, I am at my house and you are at your house. So Children's Adoration is not in the chapel right now, but that's okay. We know that Jesus, I have a picture of him right here. We're so lucky because he's in our hearts and he's all around us. We can celebrate him and adore him wherever we are. So we're so lucky that we can do that. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's tell Jesus good morning. Um, if you will put your hand on your heart and close your eyes and wrap your arms around yourself and feel the warmth of Jesus all around you. Give him a big hug. Give yourself a big hug and open your eyes and blow Jesus a kiss. And say good morning, Jesus. I'm so excited to be with you. We're going to get started with um, a song, and it's a song that we've sang the last couple of times called Good Morning Jesus. We'll say good morning to Jesus, to the Blessed Mother, and to St. Joseph. So if you'll start marching, I will get the song started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good morning, Jesus. Come to take my hand. Good morning, Jesus. I'm here to make a stand. I pray that you will come down from up above. Good morning, Jesus. I give you all my love. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good morning, Miss Mother. Come and take my hand. Good morning, Miss Mother. I'm here to make a stand. I pray that you will come down from up above. To our Bible story. So I have my Bible right here, and in the Bible, there's lots of stories about God the Father and God the Son and even God the Holy Spirit. And so the story we're going to read is from the book of Matthew, and it's about Jesus. And the name of the story is Jesus Feeds 5,000. So let me tell you the story. All right. So when we read stories from the Bible, it's important to think about what kind of lesson that we can learn from this. And in this story, the lesson is about sharing with Jesus. So I want you to pay attention and see if you can tell who is sharing with Jesus and what he's sharing. So like I said, it's called Jesus Feeds 5,000. And 5,000 is a number, and it's a really big number. It means lots and lots and lots of something. All right, so our story begins with Jesus. And Jesus was feeling a little bit sad. And so he got in his boat and he rowed his boat out to the middle of the water because he wanted to be by himself for a little bit. Sometimes we just like to be by ourselves, and he wanted to talk to God the Father. So he was doing that. But some people had heard that Jesus was there. A lot of people heard about it. And they loved Jesus. And when you love someone, you want to spend time with them, right? And so all of these people came to spend time with Jesus. Now, can you help me count how many people are on here? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. 
So in my picture, I have 12 people. But do you know how many people there really were? Do you remember? 5,000. That would take up all of this blue board, and I still would need more. They'd have to be floating in the sky around here to have 5,000. It was so many people that loved Jesus and wanted to be with him. And Jesus saw those people, so he came back from the water, and he met with them, and he told them stories, and he laughed with them, and if they were sick, he healed them, he made them feel better, and they just had a wonderful time. And after a while, some friends of Jesus, his very best friends, they're called the apostles, they said to Jesus, it's getting late, my tummy is growling, it's dinner time. We need to tell these 5,000 people to go back home and eat their dinner. But Jesus had a different idea. Jesus said, let's keep them here and we will feed them. But the apostles were a little bit confused. They were like, what? We don't have enough food for 5,000 people. And Jesus said, look around and see if there's someone that might be able to share. And guess what? There was. There was a boy, and he had one basket with two fish and five loaves of bread. One basket, two fish, and five loaves of bread. And the apostle said, would you be willing to share that with the 5,000 people that are here? And the little boy said, yes, I will share with Jesus. So... Jesus took that bread and he lifted it up to heaven and he broke the bread and he said a prayer over it. And he told the apostles, take this bread and fish and pass it out to all the people that are here. So the apostles started passing the bread out. Here's the apostle and he has all the bread and fish and he passes it out to all the people. And the people started eating, and pretty soon their tummies were full. They had so much to eat from that one basket with two fish and five loaves of bread. So when everyone's tummy was full, Jesus said, go and see if there's any leftovers. We want to save those. So the apostles did. And they found so many pieces of bread and fish that were left over. Enough to fill up, can you guess how many baskets? 12 baskets of food. From that one basket, now we had 12 baskets of food. That would be a basket all over this board filled up with food that was left over. And that was all because Let's see if we can find the page. That one boy, oh, there's Jesus. The one boy had the one basket, two fish, and five loaves of bread, and he decided to share it with Jesus. And Jesus took that and turned it into so much more to help others. So from this story, we can learn that if we share what we have with Jesus, he'll make it bigger and better than we ever would have thought. All right. Now, this is such a cool story that I was able to find some fun crafts and games that you can play that will help you remember this story. So I'll tell you about that at the end. I don't want to tell you yet. We have a couple other things to do. I think we should sing a song about this. What do you guys think? Let's sing a song. Let me scoot this over. I found a new song, it's called One Basket, and the dance moves in this are really easy. You're just going to say one basket, two fish, and five loaves of barley bread is how they say it in the song. And in the other parts you can kind of dance, and sometimes we do this or we listen, but those parts are really easy. You just have to remember one, two, and five. So let me find this song that helps us remember this story. Uh -huh. 
Whenever you're ready, you can come out of your quiet position. I wonder what it was that you heard or smelled or felt. All right, now we're ready to move on to our fourth part of adoration, and that is to pray. So whenever we're in adoration or spending time with Jesus, we can talk to him through prayer. And today we're going to pray the rosary. I have my picture of Mary right up here. You can look at it. I'm going to look at it to help us remind us that we're praying to Mary. She's also holding baby Jesus, and we're praying to him as well. So if you have a rosary, great, pull it out. If you need to go in another room and get it, you can push pause on your TV or computer and go and get it. If you don't have a rosary, that's okay. 
I bet you know that you have 10 fingers and you can use those. I'll be using my fingers and the rosary to pray today. All right, so we begin with the sign of the cross. So I take the crucifix and I go in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now I'm going to find a single bead, one bead by itself, and say the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Now we'll say our ten Hail Marys. I'm going to be thinking about Mary as I say them. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Now we're on number two. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Number three. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Number four. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Number five. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Number six. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Number seven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Number eight. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Number nine. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Number ten. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And then we take the space um, that's next. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Then you can take your crucifix and make the sign of the cross in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. So we are just about at the end of our adoration time. I've really enjoyed singing and dancing and praying and listening with you. Um, let me tell you some of the crafts that um, you can do and games that you can play to help you remember our Bible story. One is making a bracelet. And so what you do is take a pipe cleaner. Let me untwist this. So a pipe cleaner looks like this and it has kind of a wire inside of it. You could use a piece of string if you wanted, and you're going to take some pasta, and this is called uh, penne pasta or ziti, I'm not sure, and it kind of looks like a loaf of bread to me. And then I took some construction paper and cut out some fish, and you just slide them onto the pipe cleaner. Now. Do you remember how many fish there were in the one basket? Two fish. So we'll put two fish on here. And how much bread? Five bread. So I put five of the pastas on here. And then you take it and you just twist it together at the end. And you have yourself a bracelet to remind you. 
a game that you can play is called 12 baskets. I'm not going to tell you why it's called 12 baskets. I want you to figure that out and tell whoever you live with. You get a bowl for everyone that's playing and you get some something soft like um, cotton balls. And you start off by taking the cotton balls and you sprinkle them all over in one area. And then everyone gets a bowl, turn around, and then you say go. And everyone turns back around and they pick up, they collect all the leftover cotton balls and put them in their basket. And then you see who collected the most cotton balls. And that's called 12 baskets. See if you can figure out why it's called that. Um, something else fun that you can do is very easy. Um, in our story, everyone was kind of on a picnic. They brought their blankets and they sat down and they listened to Jesus and they shared food with each other. And so I think that would be something fun you can do. You can get one of your blankets, pack a picnic basket, and go in the backyard and have a picnic together to remember Jesus feeding the 5,000. And then the last thing is the one that I think is most important. If it's okay with whoever you live with, go to your pantry and find some food. Maybe you find mac and cheese or some canned food. And if it's okay with them, collect some of that out of there that you can share, like the boy in our story did, with Jesus. And you can take it to um, any kind of place that helps people that are in need. Like the Samaritan house is something that is part of our church. Um, but there's other places that you can take it to. So look for some food that you can share, just like the boy did in the story. All right. So let's go ahead and finish with our final song. Um, we are going to finish with a fun one. Um, one of our favorites, I think. Um, which is my God. So let me find that on here and you guys get your arms and legs ready to move and we'll do our last song and then we'll be done for the day. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God
Bye.